Good morning, everyone, and what the fuck did I just watch? Okay, so, I was just combing through fucking Letterboxd, uh, doing my short film reviews. And usually when I go, like, when I start spending too much time on these websites, usually I'll do something dumb. I've always had this weird, um, thing where I, like, want to see every single movie from a certain year. And usually the year that I start, like, looking at all the movies for is 1997, because it was the year I was born. So, I look at all the movies for 1997, and I look at them, uh, from release date. And the first one on this big fucking thing on Letterbox is a movie called Doodlebug. And this film also happens to be the directorial debut of... Christopher Nolan. This is a tiny, like, three-minute short film that he made, and it's a trippy little project. Um, it's about a guy in some kind of room. It's filmed in a very dry, black-and-white style. Uh, if you've ever seen Memento, um, it's like a even more toned-down version of that, black-and-white. Um, that seems to be Christopher Nolan's style, though, that whole, or at least his old style. Nowadays, he kind of has to make it for a wider audience a little bit, making those Dark Knight, uh, Interstellar type shit. But, um, I, I was almost like, hey, maybe I shouldn't watch this, because maybe I should save this for some kind of Christopher Nolan-like thing. But if, even if I do a Christopher Nolan-like version like how I do all the Oscars or the Alfred Hitchcock thing or the Disney discography even if I do that like I doubt anyone would give a shit about the little short film that he made in 97 and even if they did like I'm reviewing it here so like it's the same thing really uh but yeah doodlebug um it, it's about a guy and he's chasing a fucking bug around his like apartment and that's the whole story for the three minutes and the big conclusion like it's like caught in like a pair of underwear or like some kind of cloth and he reveals it right he pulls up the cloth and it's a little tiny version of him and after a while you start realizing this thing has been moving exactly like this guy has been moving running around the apartment and finally he brings a shoe down on the little version of him and just as he does that this big version of him pops out of fucking nowhere like it's attack on titan and squashes him just creating this trippy little uh pattern like mind fuck that's the whole conflict and story here and I think it was interesting like I don't think it was like a good film or anything but like I thought it was an interesting like if you were just trying to fucking film something with one person in a like this is this is a great idea like this is the type of shit I would come up with uh, so yeah I really like that aspect but um not much here like I'm comparing this to actual films like big budget film so I'm not gonna give it a good score <laughs> I'll give this uh, one a 5 out of 10 I think it's really interesting I like that I'm able to cross off uh, a, a, a film from my list of movies from 1997 and I got to see Christopher Nolan's like first uh, first shot at directing I think that's pretty cool um, there are 3,619 films on this list, so probably never going to be able to watch these. So, can't wait to look at this list and feel bad about that. Anyway, thank you guys. I'll see you in the next one, and until then, with that, I leave you. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10 if I didn't already say that. Anyway, with that, I leave you.